Hi there. Now, here's another example on finding the constant k in a probability density function. In the previous video, I showed you how we worked it out when we had just one equation in f of x. But in this example, I've got a couple of equations, as you can see. The principle, though, is essentially the same, and that is that the area under this graph should come to 1. And we can work out the area just by integrating. So we would have the integral of f of x with respect to x, just put it down here, between the limits of 1 and 2. Okay, And then to this we would add the integral of f of x with respect to x between the limits 2 and 4 for this equation here. All right, and this would equal 1. So this would be the general way of doing a question like this. And if there was another equation in here, we would add the integral of that equation between its limits to what we have. And it would then total 1. OK, so hopefully you get the idea. But as I said earlier, if you watched the previous tutorial, it's a good idea, if you're not asked, to sketch the probability density function, purely because it might make the job a lot quicker. So what I'm going to do in this example is just sketch this diagram, OK? So we've got the x-axis. Let's just put that in here, OK? And we've got f of x, so mark it off, something like this. And our graph then comes in various stages. The interval 1 to 2, so I'll just mark that in. Let's say that's 1 there, and then we'll have 2 here. And then we've got from 2 to 4, so we'll have that as 4. And outside of this interval here, it's zero. So we know that the graph would look something like this when it's outside that range of values between 1 and 4. Now, with the first equation between x is 1 and 2 inclusive, we've got k times 3x squared. Now, OK, we might not know k, but don't let that stop you from sketching this. You should be familiar with what the graph 3x squared looks like. It's a parabola. It would go through the origin, so it would be something like this. OK? And it's being multiplied by k. So it's essentially just going to get stretched out. It will just be a bit steeper, maybe. So between 1 and 2, you're going to have this part of the curve. OK? Something like that. OK? And let's put in some values, some coordinates at these points, OK? So when x is 1, you're going to have 3 times 1 squared, that's 3, times k, 3k. So this coordinate here is going to be 1 and 3k. All right, that's that point there. When we get to x equaling 2, we've got 2 twos are 4, times 3 is 12, so 12k. So at 2, this is going to be 2, 12k as the coordinates. It's not to scale, it's just to give you an idea of the shape though. And then for this next equation here, when we put 2 in, you can see that what we get is 24 minus 12, which is 12k then. So it joins on to this point here. And when x is 4, you'll find that we get 24 minus 24, 0, 0, k, 0. All right? So that means that we've got a straight line okay, here. It's a linear function. So we can just join up from there back down to the 4 there. If you like, you can put a dotted line in there. So what we've got then is that the area under this graph comes to 1. And that can be worked out then by this general method here. But what I notice in this one is that for this part here, if I was to draw a dotted line down from here, what we have got is a triangle here. And I could use just the area of a triangle instead of working out this integral here. 
could be a lot quicker. So I'll run through both methods for you. Okay, you might in fact want to just pause the video at this stage, try the calculation with both methods. Okay, but what I'll do is I'll take you slowly through this. So let's go back to the integral. So for this first one then, we're integrating this equation 3x squared times k. Now k being a constant, it's a good idea to put that constant k outside the integral. Don't have to do it, but it does make it a lot easier often. Okay. Now we've got the integral then of 3x squared with respect to x going between x equals 1 and x equals 2. And to this we have to add k times the integral of 24 minus 6x. So it's k times the integral of 24 minus 6x. Put that in brackets because we've got a couple of terms there. Integrating that with respect to x between the limits x equals 2 and x equals 4. And all of that should come to 1. Now, if we uh, do the integration in the usual way, we've got for this first one, k times, and this is going to be just simply x cubed. So k times x cubed, and that's then going to be between the limits of 1 and 2. And then plus, for this next one, we've got k times and put some square brackets there. Integral of 24 is 24x. And then for the minus 6x, that's going to be minus 6x squared over 2. That's going to reduce down to then minus 3x squared. Okay, so uh, put the limits in again from 2 to 4, and that equals 1. Okay, so let's just border this off. Okay, we'll come down through here, across there, and down here. So if I now just put our values through, we therefore have k times, and putting the 2 in, we've got 2 cubed, which is 8, take away 1 cubed, which is 1. It's going to give us 7k. We'll come down on that one in a minute. Now for this next part, which is basically the area of this triangle in here, we've got k times all of 24 times 4, that's 96, minus 4 4s are 16, 16 3s are 48, so that's minus 48 there. Then minus, put the 2 through, 24 times 2 is 48, and then 2 here, 2 squared is 4, 4 threes are 12, so you've got minus 12. And I can just put equals 1 there. All right. So we've got 7k here, and working this out, I can see that we've got minus minus 12. That's just going to be 12k. So we end up with a total of 7k plus the area of the triangle, which is 12k, okay, here. And that's going to equal 1. And so therefore we end up with 19k equals 1. Divide both sides by 19. And k turns out to be 1 19th. But as I said earlier, if you draw a sketch of the uh, probability density function, you might have a geometrical shape in it. We've got this triangle. So at this point here, okay, let me just star that, okay. I could have added the air of the triangle. And if we look at the air of the triangle, just put this in here, area of triangle. I'll just abbreviate that with that sign there. Using half base times perpendicular height, then the base would be from 2 to 4 here, 2 units. The height would be this height here, which we can see is 12k. All right, and what does this come to? We've got half of 2 is 1, 1 times 12k, that's 12k. So look how quick that has been compared to getting down to this result here, okay, the 12k. So you might want to do that kind of method. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this particular video, and I hope that's given you some insight now then on how to work out the constant k when it comes to probability density functions, and also 
how to go about sketching probability density functions.